The Hollywood Foreign Press Association dealt another blow. They have been uh, um, putting on the Golden Globes for over 75 years, but um, never sort of without controversy, it seems. There's there's been one thing after another. And this current thing is pretty big. Scott Feinberg from The Hollywood Reporter with the scoop. What really happened this week was that it started to fall apart from inside. You know, up to this point, it's been outside criticism and they can dismiss that as people overreacting or whatever. But this, this week, it's been uh, members turning on a 44-year member, Philip Burke, who had sent a very problematic email. Burke is also a former president of the association, now expelled after that email reportedly describing Black Lives Matter as a racist hate movement and criticizing its co-founder Patrice Cullors. What? Film critic what Carla Renata weighing that? in. I don't hear him talking about that insurrection on the Capitol. He's not criticizing that. Patrice Cullors is not a film critic. Why are you criticizing her? Why are you even sending emails to the voting body about somebody that's not even in the film industry? Go have a seat in the corner somewhere with that. Apparently, two advisors felt the same way. Feinberg reporting Judy Smith, who inspired the character Olivia Pope on Scandal, is one of the advisors who walked away. They both said we didn't realize how bad it was until we got inside and took a look around. The association was already called out for having no black people within its 87 voting members. Angelique Jackson from Variety says the timing can't be worse. To have a former president of the organization send this email calling the Black Lives Matter movement, quote, a racist hate movement, is really, really detrimental to the cause. The HFPA plans to unveil potential changes on May 6th. They have to figure it out and figure it out fast, or, you know, it, the Hollywood Foreign Press Association gonna have more problems than how many black people that they have on their voting body. And in the meantime, Hollywood is preparing for the Oscars this Sunday. I'm Couple McAvoy, Fox 11 News.